What's up, Tube? Back again with another video. Missed last week on you guys, but I was locked in, man. Uh, this week we got Paris Lavalois. That's the game we got tomorrow. Well, tonight, actually. Um, they got the number one pick in the draft this year. Number one, number two. Victor Winbayama. And, you know, he plays my position. I play his position. Uh, he's... He's versatile and versatile, so we're probably going to go at it tonight. Um, it's going to be a very interesting game. I'm not 100%. My ankle is a little bit weak. It's not necessarily my ankle. It's my feet more, I think. The ligaments in my feet is not 100%, but I'm good enough to play, but I'm scared that if I tweak it a little bit, I'm going to be out. But we ain't going to let that hold us back. Breakfast this morning was a typical French morning. Breakfast, you know, a lot of breads some bacon stuff like that had a good shoot around i'm not gonna keep on posting the same thing so i just keep you guys updated with how the days go lunch as usual right now i'm on uber eats searching for something to eat i don't necessarily know what i'm gonna eat but that's where i'm at right now i'm looking on uber eats to find something to eat because it's almost two o'clock and i still haven't eaten yet play at 8 30 so i know i'm gonna eat around one so here go my game day escapades of hunting for food and trying to make sure I'm comfortable. Gotta give me a little nap in, but right now I'm about to find something to eat to put in my belly. Choice of food, McDonald's. It's the best I could have get around here this place is kind of fur, fur, further away from many of the places in paris that i know but i didn't want no chinese food i didn't want pizza and that's pretty much all they had they had some burger spots but i don't know how the burgers gonna be so the safe bet is always mcdonald's now eating mcdonald's before a game is never a good thing in my opinion um hurts my energy but my stomach don't get upset because i'm familiar with the with the taste problem with me is whenever I eat the hotel food is that my stomach get upset and I ended up I end up using the bathroom way more than normal and I don't have energy anyway so I might as well eat something that's not going to upset my stomach um my wife normally prepares a meal for me but I know whenever we stay in these little hotels there's no refrigerator um we took the minivan so there's no refrigerator on the vans and um the food just will go bad so I'm kind of stuck and we have these team lunches, which me personally, I don't understand. When you're a professional basketball player, you should want your team to, your players to be comfortable eating the food or the quality of food that they normally eat um, so that they can perform at night instead of some long old tradition that's well outdated, in my opinion. But that's pretty much everywhere international in America. You know, it's a little bit different. We kind of focus on what the player needs more than tradition. And that's a big issue with, that I've noticed playing overseas. People focus on tradition so much that they forget that the most important thing is getting this player ready to play for the night. Like you practice all week to play for this one night. You play once a week. So like, I shouldn't have to wait for the game day to be uncomfortable with food. But that's not just, I mean, I'm not throwing a shot at my team, that's just European basketball in general. Um, and it's frustrating, it's frustrating, man, because you work so hard and <laughs> you just, you, you wanna give yourself the best chance and come the most important day, you gotta try to make things work and it's frustrating, but Got a couple burgers, some nuggets. Tuck this down. Try to give me a nap in. Get ready for the game. Oh, what's up? It gets better and better, man. Um, we just had our little snack before the game and went down there. There was no more bread left. Um, I normally have a smoothie before the game. I normally have you know, peanut butter and jelly with the smoothie, you know, some fruits or something like that. But on the road, we don't really have access to that. So they normally have like, the one thing that I can't eat is like some ham and cheese. And 
they had ham and cheese, but they didn't have bread. And the bread that they ended up bringing was warm on the outside and frozen on the inside. So I didn't eat nothing for a snack. So I'm gonna rely on bananas and oranges once I get to the gym. Hopefully I don't have like a sugar rush, but it's the best I can do. So tonight I'm pretty much playing on the empty stomach because after I had that McDonald's, I made a trip to the toilet and it was horrendous. <laughs> So I'm kind of, you know, last away game, I kind of dehydrated myself. Had a scary moment at home where I passed out. Yaya was terrified, but I passed out in the bathroom and it was very scary. But um, yeah, quick solution to this is I just have to prepare for the worst when I come on the road because there was a grocery store right next door that I didn't even realize was a grocery store. So. That's my bad. That's me not really realizing that I have a problem. <laughs> but I'm about to play this game like most bro games on an empty stomach. And it's going to be interesting to see how this go. So we're about to head to the gym. Try to get a win. <laughs> everybody it's the next day I'm chilling with the chickens as you can hear in the backyard getting my grounding in walking on some grass getting connected to the earth um that was a very interesting game last night playing in Paris against those young guys man they're the number one defensive team in the league and you can see why they have length, they have athleticism. Um, they're hungry. There's a lot of guys on that team with a point to prove. And, uh, you know, you got the Victor guy, he kid, he's trying to be the number one pick in the draft. You got the center, my boy, uh, Fall Fay. He's trying to prove that he's, you know, a EuroLeague guy. You got the guard, Waters. He's on show for an NBA contract, probably. Uh, the Pacers drafted Besson, the uh, two guard who was knocking down all the threes on us. They got a lot of talent, man, on that team, and they let us have it. Now, as far as playing against Victor, I'm gonna go on the record to say this. He's the real deal. <laughs> it's so impressive that he's 18 years old, but he seems so mature. Um, I didn't really hear him complain I didn't hear him cry for the ball, although his team makes sure that they use him, which is smart because he can do a multiple multitude of things. Um, he can pass it. He can really shoot it, like really shoot it. He's just not like, he don't make just, he don't, he's, he's not just out there making shots. He's really a good shooter. Um, when he dribbles, he goes from 7'3", seven, 7'4", seven, to about 6'8", six, 6'7". Six, he gets real low on his dribble. And you're not just about to steal a ball from him. Now, granted, in the NBA, it's going to be quicker guys, but it's still going to be tough to get away from him. Nothing he's doing, nothing about him is like a gimmick or like the average long uh, freak unicorn type player. A lot of those guys have all of the potential to do this and do that. He don't have potential. I'm sorry. He has a lot of potential, but he he is already here. He he is his game is mature enough to play at a high level. Defensively, 
He can block shots. One of his struggles is on closeouts. I could have get by him pretty easy on closeouts. But for the most part, bro, his defensive game is crazy. Like, you always have to be aware of where he, he's at on the court. He moves. He moves like a... He moves very well. <laughs> like, he, he don't move very well for a guy that's 7'3". He moves very well for a basketball player. Like, for him on this play, I threw an alley-oop to my teammate. He went from guarding me to turning around, <laughs> jumping, and blocking the alley-oop clean. That's tough to do for anybody. And he did it quite effort effortlessly. And I'm told that, you know, he don't even really lift weights or anything right now because they want to let his body still develop and grow out. And, bro, it's, it's only going to get scary because he's light years above ahead of Giannis at this stage in his career. He's ahead of LeBron at this stage of, in, of his career because he can really shoot it and he can really pass it. Giannis had the athletic ability, could have passed it, could have dribbled it. He played the defense. He played hard. But Victor, he got the size. He, he got everything, man. Sky's the limit for that kid. I'm happy to see that. It's great for our league. It's great for French basketball. Um, me being in French basketball for the majority of my career, um, I feel good about it. Uh, it's a sense of pride. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, he's the real deal. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know, uh, I'm gonna keep on doing a home game and away game vlogs, just keeping you guys coming along with this journey. I'm out.